Hi, it's Brett here, and today I'm going to look at home automation and controlling appliances and lights around my home. In the past, I've used things like this, which is an Arduino with an Ethernet shield on top, heap of relays, pretty bulky, does do, does do the job, um, but you've got to run an Ethernet cable out to everything, then you've got to run your power cables back to a central location. You can have more than one of these in the house to control different areas of the house. But it's messy and I haven't got far with that. Then along come this, the ESP8266 uh, node, which is a little Wi-Fi chip on a little Arduino, basically. Um, to run this, you need a power supply, and then you'll need a relay but then you can have Wi-Fi throughout the house controlling these devices and you can have multiple of these around the place to control different relays um, you can run a couple of relays off one of these um, these sell for about 10 bucks then you've got your power supply and your relay set it all up a little bit messy but it's probably better than the alternative but now we get the son off uh, so I got this one from G2 Electronics. You can get them on eBay. You get them for around ten dollars. Quite a nice little package. And inside of them, if I can break into it, you can see that it's got a little relay. It's got a little power supply, which runs off the mains voltage. And then if you look at the little chip and stuff right on there, it's actually a little ESP8266. So it's basically the same as all this in a nice little package. Now I've heard you can program these up. You've got some four pins here, which um, are your data pins and your voltage pins. So I'm going to solder a little header onto that. And then attempt to program this up. I'll also program up an ESP86. We'll control it with um, MQTT and just see how hard it is to do each one and which one's the most economical way of doing it and see which way I'm going to go with controlling devices and stuff around my home. So let's get started. First thing, Get the soldering iron out and to solder up this son off and we'll attempt to program it up okay you can see there that i've got the header soldered in so now i'm going to hook it up to an arduino but i'm going to hook it up to an arduino and use it only as a usb to serial converter to program up the esp chip on this one so to bypass the arduino chip so ground to the reset pin. So now it should just act as a USB to serial converter. This bottom pin, if you hold it this way, the first pin is 3.3 volts. So you've got to be careful on the Arduino, we can put out 5 volt or the 3.3, so we'll go 3.3. And then the next one up is the receive pin. So I'll plug that into the receive there. This is for the receive. Now, normally I would think that the receive needs to go to the transmit, but I think on the Arduinos, it's actually around the wrong way. So in this case, I'll put the receive to receive. And the same for the transmit. So we're at transmit from there and the next one up is the transmit and then finally we've got the ground so I can go to any of the grounds on the Arduino so now we should have the USB to serial connected and also power to run the ESP 
A266 chip. So now to put it into programming mode, you actually hold the pin down, the, the little mode switch down here, which is actually connected to pin zero, and grounds it out. And that puts the ESP into programming mode, which is very, very handy. Uh, and you need to do that while you power it up. So I'll take it off here. I'll power up my Arduino. I'll hold down the pin and plug in the 3.5. Release the pin. Now it's in programming mode. And now we go over to our Arduino and we'll upload a sketch. So the first sketch I'm going to upload is just our basic blink. There's plenty of videos on how to put in the ESP8266 library and board into your Arduino IDE if you haven't done that already. We need to select the generic ESP8266. So we select that and we also need to go in and change the flash size to one meg with 64k spiffs. So once we've done that, which we've done, now the port comes up as a USB port, but it comes up as an Arduino Uno. So it's still seeing enough of the USB to, to recognize the Arduino. So we're talking to that, and in turn, that's going to talk to the ESP. So that should be right there now, so I should just have to upload it. And it's looked like it's going through. And you can see the transmit and the TX light fairly flashing away on the board. On the screen, and they've got the dots going up, which is good. We've got 36%, so it's going to go through. And we're up, and we're blinking. So we've done it. So that's yeah, that's very good. All right, now I might um, load a sketch on to turn this relay on and off using MQTT. Um, so I'll be back in a minute and I'll load a sketch up and see if we can get that to work. But that's uh, that's rather good. It's good to see that little light blinking. So we haven't bricked the board, and it's all up and running.